It is clear now that the events of the past week were nothing less than a deliberate, a coordinated, and a well-planned attack on our democracy. Yet, despite the widespread destruction, this attempted insurrection has failed. It has failed to gain popular support amongst our people. It has failed because of the efforts of our security forces, and it has failed because South Africans have rejected it and have stood up in defense of our hard-won democracy. If we stand together, no insurrection or violence in this country will succeed. Jail Olomisa asked a question as to what it is that we are dealing with, whether in fact it's conventional or is it insurgents or is it, I mean, he raised about three or four of those. Chairperson, our view, to be honest, is that it's none of those. What we see, in fact, we've also had people making reference to uh, um, insurrection, coup, and, and the issue is, if it's an insurrection, then the insurrection must have a face. If it's an insurrection against government. If it is about a coup, the coup will also have a face. But none of those so, so far talk to that. Our view is that we probably are seeing a signs of a counter-revolution, uh, which is creeping in, in the form of a criminality and thuggery. There's one matter I'd like to clarify. The instance where we are running, the media is running with that the Minister of Defense has contradicted the President. We want to clarify that the position of government is that as articulated by the president of an attempt at an at insurrection in the country. And that uh, uh, perspective is informed by discussions at the National Security Council, which is chaired by the president, and he receives briefing from the military commanders and also the other law enforcement agencies. And to that effect, any contrary view, we do not know where it comes from, is not the view that is uh, supported by any facts by our law enforcement agencies, including the military. Thank you. The president has spoken. It was an attempted insurrection. Okay? And I confined myself to counter-revolution. Because, but ultimately remember, any element of counter-revolution ultimately lead, may lead, may as well lead to an insurrection in a country. There was never, and I want to repeat this, never a deliberate or even a mischievous, mischief on my side to deliberately contradict the Commander-in-Chief. And whether the President spoke with the Minister of Defence, I thought we had addressed this matter yesterday to say the, the position of Cabinet is clarified by is that which is led by the president and the position of the National Security Council is that which is uh, ex which was expressed by the cabinet and I've explained that I'm the spokesperson of cabinet and also the sp spokesperson of the National Security Council. So whatever happens, what my colleagues say is my responsibility to manage my environment of communication. There is not the space of the president to do that because it's my space to communicate. Thank you.